What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode here at Get Right Golf with the man, Ryan Hawley, the ground force master. I've got a cool video for you today. So if you saw my initial swing blueprint video with Ryan, you would notice that we talked about shoes and the impact of shoes on ground forces and that the shoes I was wearing at the time we're not gonna be good for my game long term. So today, we have four footwear options that we're gonna be testing. We're testing my new FootJoy Contours, which are the new shoe that I'm wearing. We're testing my Nike running shoes. We're testing my Nike spikeless golf shoes. And we're gonna test barefoot. So a mixture of all four of these footwear options, what yields the best club interaction, ground force reaction, all that. So here we go, let's just jump right into it. done this test before yeah I can feel the load into my left leg is not the same interesting I just want to have another quick peek at that yeah your, your, your verts are really good but certainly like the break is very different like very different so that's the stability of the shoe hmm interesting That's mashed. It's good. That's really good. But it, I didn't swing as, like I, I felt like I had to bail out of that. Okay, cool. That's interesting. Very interesting. Immediately. Immediately. Like, 10 miles per hour, that speed. Wild. 10 yards ish carry. Dude, that's, that's insane. Higher ball speed. I just want to take a look at that. See that break? Yeah, the breaking force comes right back up. 381. No change in verticals or torques, but change in, change in the brakes of how you're engaging that left foot into the ground. <laughs> Interesting. Like that's, that, I mean, that was 329 carry. Your longest one with the runners was I think like 315? Yeah. And I'm not even swinging as fast, like, this is after we've hit 150 balls. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Like. I can already, I can feel immediately from going with runners to this. Yeah. My presence in my left leg. I wonder how much of that has to do with the heel being higher on the runner. That well, that's what I'm saying. All that support that's happening underneath the yeah. ball of the foot, I, I don't feel as stable in the positions you want me to push yeah, on. Interesting. Whereas now I'm like, oh, I can. I can push it. Yeah. I can push well, it. Well, it shows up like you're you're thirty percent more force okay. uh, on that break. So. Mm, nice. That is an absolutely a rocket. That's three forty-five carry. 40 carry. <laughs> there we go. That's stupid. <laughs> All right, go to uh, what shoes now? We're gonna do the Nike spikeless. These feel like a, these feel similar to the Nike runners, okay. but not as much. I feel like I still have a little bit more stability in the ball of my foot okay. versus the Nike runners. Interesting. I wonder, I wonder if it's like elevation of like the left heel or. Yeah, Not very good. 
Uh, yeah, I would say so. Three fifty nine. I thought you drop kicked that one. I did a little. Yeah. Launched it seventeen and spawned it at fourteen. I don't think it's gonna go forever. Those are golf shoes, though. Exactly. Yeah. So okay. these are meant for golf. Right. They just, the only thing that, that is that I've slipped in these on course. Right. Well, that, that's going to be the issue, right? right? So if you look at that, though, the blue is probably the most consistent, which is the contour. But the green is, like, it's pretty good. 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 I mean, if you had to overlay all of those, like, the green is the winner. That's funny. All right, go barefoot. I couldn't, I can't turn. I don't feel like I could turn. That's interesting. You still hit 330. Still hit 330, but left. Yeah. Because I can't, the planting. Yeah, the, the action of the ball. Mm -hmm. Speed's down, brake force is down, carry down. Make sense? Yeah. All right, let's look at the quad data first. So okay. what uh, what are we seeing out of the first? Uh, we took three shots for all four options. So what uh, what's the verdict on that? Yeah, so we see some kind of surprising stuff. Um, so we had uh, barefoot, we had a pair of Nike spikeless golf shoes, a pair of Nike runners, and a pair of FootJoy contours. Uh, FootJoy contours were your fastest swings, uh, 121 and a half uh, on average. Nike runners were 119, uh, the Nike spike list was 120, just shy of 121, and the uh, barefoot was 119. So faster in barefoot than maybe I kind of would have thought. Uh, take some confidence to swing in bare feet, I would say. Um, and then the foot joys, um, you know, you were commenting that it provided you like a better feeling platform to push from, which I think is really, really interesting. I think we'll take a look at that when we get into uh, into the data here on the force plates. but. Um, overall, club head speed changed uh, about two miles per hour from fastest to slowest, two and a half miles per hour. Attack angle was no different. Uh, path really was relatively unaffected. Um, you know, your accuracy uh, was relatively unaffected as well. Um, when we look at carry, uh, 329 with the foot joys, 312 with the runners, 326 on average with the spikeless, and 303 with the in bare feet. So. I would say, obviously, from from my perspective, it's the spike list or the foot joy contour is pretty pretty interchangeable. I would say on those ones. Yeah. So when we bring up kind of this overlay uh, dispersion, we can see the oranges of the barefoot. All three are shorter than all the other ones. Uh, the green and the blue are pretty similar. Uh, that's the runners and the and the um, contours, and then the red is the uh, Nike runners, which kind of brought up the uh, the rear outside of the bare feet. So. Um, obviously all these balls with the exception of the one orange, uh, I think you told me you kind of slipped on this one. Um, they're all in play. All right. So now from a ground force perspective, uh, what's the difference between the shoes and no shoes? <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, uh, let's start with barefoot. Um, we're going to see, uh, your verticals kind of at your normal, uh, which I think is like around 225. So within a few degrees plus or minus, or sorry, a few percentage points plus or minus, um, not every swing is gonna be identical. We kind of look at trends. 223% um, of your body weight. Um, in torque, we're creating 159 pounds at max. Um, your horizontals in your backswing, 141. And in your downswing, we get to 293. And I think that's where it's really interesting. Uh, before we were at like 400 uh, newtons of force, so about 33% higher. Um, that was the thing that I think was the most surprising to me. And when we talk about braking force, braking is basically how we stop moving forward. 
Um, now, when that force gets applied away from our body's center, um, it also helps us turn. And one of the things that you said in bare feet was that you could, you got kind of stuck and you couldn't really turn right. through it. And that's the one that you hit that really wild one to kind of to the left. Right. Um, so again, that, that, that kind of points to that, um, you know, to that is you feel like you get stuck and then when your body stops turning, the hands have to turn and, right. and the club face has to flip. Uh, so then second, we had the, uh, the foot joy, um, or sorry, the Nike runners, which judging from your reaction is the ones that you hated the most. Yeah. Uh, which is funny because you said you played for years in these shoes. Well, or... this is, no, this is what I started practicing in That's af right. after you told me my other Nikes. So these ones felt like the other Nike ones that I had that had the fake, uh, the ones that don't have the real spikes on the yeah, bottom. The spike list, right. Yeah. So these were kind of, it's like those ones, those Nikes are kind of like this. Right. With just like those fake spikes on them. Right. And we'll get to those Nikes next. But, you know, here we see this vertical stay at, you know, 222. So exactly the same within a percentage uh, point. Um, we see torque at 156. So pretty much bang on. We see backswing horizontal at 136 Newton. So this same. Uh, and then we see this. Uh, breaking force max out at 365 newtons so better than barefoot um, and that's really the only number that really changed significantly was that that break uh, applied a little bit more when we look at the nike spikeless uh, we see here backswing horizontals 117 120 torque at 172 so a higher level of torque uh, Max weight, the vertical got to 234, so higher uh, than that kind of average 225. And the brakes were hit at 361 again, or 360. So again, we see a little bit more in the torque, a little bit more in the vertical, and, and a little bit more in the brakes. And then foot joy, um, I think kind of that clear winner was 233% body weight in verticals, 172 in torque. And most importantly, at least from what I'm kind of seeing in this short kind of time without doing a huge deep dive onto it, is 400 newtons of force in your brake. Right, so, right? That's, so that's the big difference in shoes. For it's, sure. It's the braking power. Well, for, for you, it's definitely how you push and use your left foot. Right. Right, like that's the big thing. So because, because we've worked so hard on where pressure is, how you're applying it, Right. It, it's not a surprise that the shoe changes your ability to feel or to create that type of force and that's so interesting because especially from you and i talk about this in other videos is how much work i've done on getting that left leg to properly push right and one of the one of the things you said immediately in our first session was that the shoes i was wearing wasn't going to work for me right those those other nikes that i had yep. i actually got rid of them right uh and and got these Good, good so, setup. I like, so this I like is, these. Yeah, we, like the reason I got those, rid of those Nikes and got these was because of our right. initial work. And what corresponds with those shoes, obviously, when we take a look at force, obviously I'm just throwing out a bunch of numbers, but the one that I think everybody can kind of appreciate is speed, right? Right. You're trying to hit it hard. Um, we were 119 uh, on this swing in bare feet. We were 119 on this swing in uh, the Nike runners. We were 120 in this swing in the spikeless golf shoe. And then the one that had the highest brakes, one of the highest torques and, and uh, tied for the highest verts um, is the foot joy contours, you had 122. Right. Right, so we see a speed increase based on what shoe you're wearing and the amount of force that you can create right. with that shoe on. Right, and that, was a com and that was 150 balls deep. Correct, like this is slower than I would expect, but again, we've hit a lot of shots today. So, right, and yeah. so, no, but it's good because uh, like the spikeless have a similar reaction, but the issue with the spikeless on the course is that I've slipped in those spikes. For sure. Right? So it's good to know that at least like stability wise, I yep. like they match, but on, on real turf. You got it. On that's a, why you want the spikes. On a level platform uh, with lots of friction inside and no moisture yeah, they, yeah. They, that's, the, the spikes will probably work right, well. Right. Um, outside, probably a different story, but obviously we can't test shoes outdoors. You know, you take yeah. shoes outdoors, you own them. Yeah. Um, but what we can say is like, hey, like at least here where we can control the environment, right. there's certain shoes that are going to be better for you than others. Yeah. Right.